Hello guys, in this video, let's create a charter smooth effect in the Niagara. Just like what we see in the level from one charter to another charter. Here we just set visibility of charter as an example. If we want to get a better effect, we can modify the charter's material. Ok, let's start it. Add a Niagara system, here we use an empty template. Rename it to Morph. And in this emitter, we can change life cycle mode to Self. Loop duration is fine, ok. Now let's add a spawn rate. 200,000, um, maybe 20,000. Ok, it's a large number of particles, so we select same target to GPU and fixed. Now we set initial last particles, left time is 10. Color we use a user parameter. Search linear color. As default, we use blue. And spread size mode, we select random uniform. 0.2 to 0.5 Rotation mode, there is no need to adjust because we use the default spread material. Even if the rotation is side, there is no difference. Ok, now let's add skeletal mesh location. Here we need two modules. Yes, use two charters. And also we add a use parameter, skeletal mesh and skeletal mesh 1. By user parameter, we can select charters in the level. And then we set two position parameters to store the charters position. SKM position 1 and SKM position 2. Ok, the first module sample position is SKM position 1. The second module sample position is SKM position 2. In the end, we set particles position to SKM position 1. Now let's set preview mesh. SKM mannequin, yes. This is Charter 1. Oh, we also need to select Mesh Sampling Type to Triangle. Yes, Surface, not Bones. Ok, we can see Charter sampled by Particles. The second module is seen. Ok, now if we want to set Charter's Morph, we might think we can just set its position in the particle update, right? This method is indeed feasible, but in this way we can only set its position in particle update. And we can't add other force modules. Otherwise, when the FPS is unstable, the particles will shake. Ok, we can try it. Add a curve for alpha, 0 to 1, and A is SKM position 1, B is SKM position 2. Now we can see the particle will slowly change from charter 1's position at the beginning to the charter 2's position at the end. Ok, here we set left time to 5. Yes, for preview. Also, key data 0 0.2, 0 0.8. Because we need particles can stay on the ship of two charters for a while. Oh yes, there is one thing we've got to modify before. It's loop behavior, we need to keep it at once and loop duration is 5. Ok, we can see this effect in the level. It's indeed a morph effect. Now we can add some force modules to it. 
For example, add the kernel's force, set these parameters at will. Yes, we can see these particles have some jitter. So here we use force module to achieve the same effect. So there won't be any jitter. Okay, let's add a linear force. We need to multiply vector by float. And then subtract position. A is character's position and B is particle's position. Here we can add a lerp in A. Yes, character's position. Make it have a smooth transition from charter 1 to charter 2. This curve we use 0 to 1, and when key data is 0 0.5, we set this value as 1. SKM position 2. B is particle's position. Yes. And float, we also use a curve to control it. This curve controls the strength of linear force. Here we just keep a default curve from 0 to 1. In this way, when particles start to be affected by other force, they are greater than the linear force. So particles will randomly in all directions. When it ends, linear force is greater than other force, so particles will be constrained to the charter's position. Okay, set scale curve to 10. And then in curl noise force, we also need to set noise strength as a curve. But this time we need an offset curve. 1 to 0. This is the same reason we compare force strength to determine particle's position. Okay, we can add some key data to this curve. Yes, make it more random. In the end, we can make this key data a little earlier. Ensure the particle will have a correct position when it ends. Okay, scale curve is strength 500 to 1500. Oh yes, this curve is also key data 0 0.9. Now let's add a vortex force. Copy this curve and the vertex axis is 1, 1, and 1. Strength may be 300 to 700. Okay, finally, let's add a drag 3 to 5. Okay, now let's take a look in the level. Let's recite. Yes, at the beginning, these particles are affected by kernel force and vortex force, which are greater than linear force, so they will randomly fly around. In the end, linear force is greater than other force, so particles will slowly constrain to charter's position. Now let's add two charters in the level. Charter 1 and Charter 2. In this navbar, we can select charter in the level. Of course, we can set its scale. Here is Charter 1 and Charter 2. Yes, we can see these particles from Charter 1 fly to Charter 2.
Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.